Hi friends, welcome to our Vivekananda Games Academy channel again. So today, what is the role of both of us today, my dear Ashwin? Today we are going to discuss a sum in a descriptive way and a shortcut method uh, in the chapter of moving charges in magnetism. Yeah, it's a great thing actually. Today we are going to discuss a long descriptive way and myself as you know very well, I used to take it a shortcut method. So now it is the time for me to leave the session to our meritorious students, Ashwin. Ashwin, it's your time to take the class now. So you can go for the long script method. Yes. So the given question here is, a length of, uh, a wide length L is bent into a circular group of radius R and carries a magnetic uh, field at the center is B. So now let us take a wire of length L and it is made into a circular group with a magnetic field at the center B. Now the same wire is now bent into a double loop. Uh, loop. If the current in the bolt is same, I, and it is in the same direction, the magnetic field at the center of the double loop will be. Now, they are taking the same uh, loop and making it into a, a double loop. And it has the same current, I, in the same direction. So, now we know, we know the general formula for the uh, magnetic field in a circular loop. V is equal to mu naught n i by 2r. Here, in the first case, they are given, uh, they are making into a single loop. So, the value of n is 1. n is equal to 1. If you substitute in this equation, we get b is equal to mu naught i by 2r. And we know that for uh, the length of the circular loop, l is equal to n into 2 by r. So, here the value of n is equal to 1. So, L is equal to 2 pi R. From this, we can get uh, R is equal to L by 2 pi R. Now, substitute the value of R in the given equation 1. Let us take this equation as 1. We get B is equal to mu naught I by 2 L into 2 pi. So, we get B is equal to mu naught I by 2 2 into L and 2 pi. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. We get B is equal to mu naught I pi by L. Let us take this as equation 2. So now if you consider the second uh, uh, sum, it is given as the wires bent into a double loop. So uh, here N is equal to 2. Now again if you substitute this uh, value of N in the equation, given equation, B is equal to mu naught 2 I by 2R. Here, for L is it, now L is equal to N into 2 pi R. Here, the given value of L is equal to 2. So, we get L is equal to 4 pi R. Now, R is equal to L by 4 pi. Now, if you substitute in the, uh, in the equation, we get B is equal to mu naught I by R. Here R is equal to uh, L by 4 pi. So B is equal to mu naught I by L 4 pi. So we get B is equal to 4 pi mu naught I by L. We take this equation as 3. Now if you compare equation 2 and 3, we get B is equal to 4 we get that B dash is equal to 4. So the option is 3. I hope you have enjoyed the long descriptive way for the same question which Ashwini has taken very clearly. So the answer as per our uh, discussion is what we discussed with you is the option, uh, the answer lies in the option 3 that is OB. So now I am not going to do any long step method now. We are going to straight away give the answer within a few seconds. Let us go for the shortcut for that now. How we are going to find the answer within a few seconds. Let us see the question here. See the same question has been explained already. Even though this is my duty to explain it again. So a wire of length L is bent into a circular loop of radius R and carries a current R. The magnetic field at the center of the loop is capital B. The same wire is now bent into double loop. That is very very important. See for my shortcut, we have to see only this important point. 
So what is there, my dear students? Yes? Yes, you are right. It is a double loop means n is equal to 2. To find the answer for this question, don't go for any formula. Use my theory. What is the theory? What is my theory? So the theory says, what is the number there? Just the square it will get the answer immediately. What is the here? It is double. Double means it is 3. No, yes, it is 2. So if you square this number, so your answer and my answer will rise now it is 4. So where is that number 4 here? It is here, it is not there, it is not there, and the answer lies in the option C, it is option third option, it is 4B. So we got the answer within a few seconds and without using any formula and without using any long descriptive way, we got the answer immediately within a few seconds. I hope you enjoyed the session. But don't forget to do one thing. Subscribe our channel, click the like button and share all of our channel videos to your friends. Until then, thank you. See you in the next session.